One though. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, you guys could uh, see it. I could see this one right here. And then, uh, then, okay. the, so I saw this one, and then I saw it run this or that one come up here, and then he got in here for a second. Did you see it over here, Jesse? I saw the first one come down this row when I shot, I and it dropped. Saw one right Dude, there. there was yeah. literally one right here that, that popped one. out. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you that stock right there probably kept it from. Yeah, seeing us. Seeing but I, I tried to do this, so. That yeah. was what he was telling me. Don't fire by yeah. him because he knew yeah. I could yeah. see it. Yeah. <laughs> so we try really hard to get close this time of year. Proximity is a big factor. How close were we? Seven yards. <laughs> we, four rows from the chair. That first set of howls, and they lit up. I mean, not not 20 yards from us. Right. They were right on top of us. I think they were in 10 yards. Yeah. I mean, I, we, we had to have walked right up on them. It just goes to show you if you're quiet and you have your wind and you plan your entry. Now, given I thought they were on the other side, but, you know, if you're cautious going in, you can get away with a lot more than what people typically think you can. One set of howls. Yeah, I had exactly. I had one behind me that was I mean maybe two steps away max. We could hear it, we could hear it running around and I I turned and look and I could see it next to me and Jesse had one four rows. Yeah, Jesse had one I mean two yards from him. We'll uh we'll take stands like that every time. We kind of had a rough day yesterday. We did uh prior to this we had done seven stands and only called coyotes up on two of them. We killed one with the rifle and um, y'all either have already or will see the the luckiest coyote on the planet <laughs> dodging dodging apex it's uh one shot hit in front and one shot hit between its feet and a giant cloud of dust real dramatic but nothing got harmed so we're just uh we're animal friendly here we try not to hurt them just we tried to scare that one to death but we're gonna it's early first stand right at sunrise we got a real pretty sunrise behind us what do you guys think about this kind of hunting? Lots of fun. It's different, right? Definitely. Yeah, we uh, we do things a little bit unorthodox. When you put them in our lap. But when it works, it's a lot of fun. All right, we're going to get a picture, get out of here, get going, try to get some more. We'll see you all after a bit.
walk-ins like this make me question why I do this. I'm sure they probably feel the same way right now. It's good when it pays off though. Yeah, he's getting further away. So that's all we're gonna get out of this. About how many steps was that? I think it's about eight. Oh, come on. Eight little tiny hunched over steps. Yes, sir. Did a number on him, too. What do you think of that? Awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Is that your first coyote? Yep. Hell yeah. Running right at us down a row of corn. Hard to beat that. So we looked for that coyote. We didn't find anything. Did you find any blood? No blood. Did you find any blood? No blood. Nothing. I didn't. Poor shooting on Jake's part. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, way to screw that up, Jake. So that uh, when we were driving around, I told these guys, I said it's it's like playing a game of whack-a-mole. They just pop up out of nowhere, and you better shoot them real quick. <laughs> that coyote. That coyote. That coyote's part cat and used up part of his nine lives. <laughs> we watched the video back and he had he had TSS. Yeah, those were both TSS rounds. He had uh, he had some some apex 
<laughs> At that distance, how, how far do you think that was? Eight yards. Yeah, eight yards. You know, was, their patterns are about the size of a baseball at best, most likely. It's all right, there will be more. We're gonna finish our walk of shame and <laughs> get after him again here after bit. Shoot me down soon.